So the first thing you want to do for this bracelet holder is to put a bag down on your table because you don't want a lot of stuff on it and a um, preferably a like towel paper towel roll tape um, you will need two paper towel rolls um, or two toilet rolls as I have black paint and a paintbrush and some uh, thing to hold between the case and such uh, you need a DVD or a CD case. I use the DVD case since I'm making a two-tier bracelet holder, a glue gun or super glue. I just use the glue gun scissors and some aluminum foil, but you can just use uh, the paint if you want to, but I just felt like making mine a little silvery. So the first thing you want to do is paint all of your toilet rolls or uh, paper towel rolls um, black or I use black obviously you can use whatever color you want and always remember to take your rings off and I'm just taking and putting some paint right on the brush from the um, tube of paint and it's just called black I think it's just a regular black color uh, I think it looks very sleek and it makes everything else stand out, which is why I like it since I don't have many, that many black bracelets. And I'm just painting, painting, painting the whole thing. And you're also going to paint the inside as far as you can go on the um, paper towel rolls. And obviously I have to put the two toilet paper rolls together so that I can get all through those. And acrylic paint dries very fast, so it's very nice to use for this type of project. And then I also put two, or I put a huge uh, strip of tape on the paper bag, and I painted acrylic paint over it. And I'm trying to take it off so I can tape my two toilet paper rolls together with that. And it actually stays very nice. Mine's still holding up after a couple of days. And then you are just kind of rolling it with the tape inside or around. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. It takes a while. Probably should have sped up this part, but oh well. And once you are done with the tape, you can take your scissors and you're going to make a hole. But I'm actually using the pencil to press down the tape first, or not the pencil, the brush. Uh, I'm taking the scissors and I'm cutting a hole for the um, kind of stance. And I'm actually using two tubes, one shorter and one longer. Short one is a e.l.f. eyelid primer thing which is empty and the longer one is a L'Oreal mascara that I no longer use. So I'm taking the um, what is it called? The uh, shorter tube and I'm taping the aluminum foil to it, rolling it up and then taping it back onto the other side. And keep in mind that at least the aluminum foil that I'm using have one very shiny silvery part and one side that is more matte and less shimmery. So uh, just keep in mind to use the same side at all times. And if you want, don't want any more, then you can just cut up the rest. And tape it back on. And you can tell uh, I cut every small hole. hole. Um, if you look at the roll to the far right, 
Um, so if you do the same thing that I did and it didn't fit, then you just cut the hole bigger. Rock tube. So just take the scissors, cut, 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 cut. And gotta make it fit. And for some reason I'm doing all of this stuff outside of the camera. Probably should have cut that part out too. Using my thumb to press it down. And yeah. You're, then you're uh, basically going to do the same thing to the other side. Just um, wrap the um, mascara band and uh, glue it in and glue it onto the DVD case. And then you are done and you can put on all your bracelets. And see how pretty it is. It's super simple, very easy. I didn't use any money on it at all because I had all the stuff I used at home. Except, obviously, my bracelets and a watch and stuff like that. And it is a lot cheaper than buying it online or in the store. So, that is it. And I hope you enjoyed. And if you decide to do this too, then tweet me a picture or tag me on Instagram or anything. Because I would really like to see it. So, bye guys.